All right, guys, tonight on The Tool Show, Sarah and I are at Equip 2023. We get to visit Eagle Milwaukee, DeWalt, Husqvarna, Cenex, and a lot more. A ton more, and all of it's coming up next on The Tool Show. Hey guys, welcome back to The Tool Show. I'm Rob. And I'm Sarah. And this week we are here at Equip 2023. We're super excited. We have a ton of amazing outdoor power equipment. There's mowers and chainsaws and pull saws and string trimmers and everything else you can imagine. I can't wait to get started. But before we get started, I want to thank our sponsors, Ego, Spider, Ohio Power Tool, and Blockwater. Hey, they're the reason we get to come to these things. Are. are you guys ready to see some tools? I am. Let's go. <laughs> Nobody's more qualified to explain all this cool new ego stuff than Barnaby. Oh, Barnaby I was looking, I was looking so for a more qualified person. Uh, well, the, the most qualified I could find. At there least. you have it. So Barnaby, super excited. Sarah and I have had our Z6 for what two years now. Use it constantly and loved it, love it to death. Right. It was our first real zero turn. This surprised us. I'm really excited to see this to have an ego tractor mower. Tell us what makes this different besides the obvious. Well. First of all, it's Ego, right? Yeah. So that makes it totally different from everybody else because we are the number one rated brand of battery-powered OPE. For a reason, I mean, we are the kings of battery. We yeah. have it dialed in. It is the most sophisticated battery on the market. And you know, it comes with six, six amp hour batteries. What's that gonna get you in life? It's gonna give you about an acre and a half worth of cut. Excellent. Three and a half hour recharge time with the included 700 watt charger. But you can also plug in with the charger you're used to oh, with yep. your Z6. Yep, right That's there. gonna speed things up, right? So it all depends on your needs. Sure. But this is so comfortable, so familiar to people. That's yeah. the key right there. And it has like the, the screen with diagnostics, but we've gotten back to kind of like the car thing, right? More like analog, drive, drive reverse. reverse, right? Nice. Yeah, it's fantastic. And that's the thing about Ego. If there is a need, if there is a desire, There's we're a gonna fill it. it. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Excellent. We have a couple of the really cool Ego products that are brand new. Can we go take a look? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. I love Ego. I love Ego products. I use them all the time. Nothing has gotten me this excited. They have a mini bike now. Barnaby, you gotta tell me what made Ego make a mini bike. And holy cow, this is so much bigger, heavier. Like, this is a serious bit of kid, isn't it? And you know what you're talking about being a motorcycle rider, right? I love motorcycles. Yep. I, that's what I mean. I thought this was going to be a fun toy. This has like a 1500 watt motor back. Here. Oh yeah. No, this is going to go. I'm and it's excited. got an in-hub motor, right? So there's no, no noise chain, to no it. No noise. Oh yeah. Right? And it's going to top speed is about 28 miles per hour. Perfect. If you range. run through the woods, you're not going to want to go faster than that anyway. No, I mean, look at those tires. Could you be any more aggressive, <laughs> right? <laughs> and it's got the old eco sport and standard mode. So you can Love kind of it. dummy it down for the kids. And, uh, you know, because you, you lock it in here, right? Yeah. You set the speeds in here and then you can just say, I right, go uh, try it out. It's going to run two 7.5 amp hour batteries. It's got a horn. Oh, so it actually takes two batteries, yes. right? Yes. Yep. Okay. And then there's going to be a little hatch over here where you open it up and you can have storage for another battery. It's going to be available Q1 of 2024. It's going to come in at approximately 1999 with Wonderful. the two 7.5 hour batteries. Excellent. What's and not the, to love about it'll this? It'll get like 20 miles with those batteries, right? Uh, yep. Awesome. Yep, on the two 7.5s. Is there room though? I can put the 12 amp hour batteries in here. Let's check and see. We do, They left the keys. Awesome. See what we got. 7.5, 7 7 pretty stuff. Yep. Okay, that's fine. But that's good. And it will come with two of those. Yes. But I can put a third one down here? Yes. Is that what you're saying? I do believe. That'll Open up and see. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Yep. Oh. So you want to come around here, there's a slot that's literally shaped like an the, extra battery. And it's almost like a 3D print job where you just snap it in there so it'll stay put and not rattle around. Nice. Yeah, it's got a brake light on it. It's not going to be road legal, right? No, no. I but assume that's not. what night is for. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Barnaby, thank yeah. you so much. We oh, really, no really appreciate no. your time as always. Yep. We're in the Husk Barna booth here at Equip 2023. Got my new friend Bailey I just met here. Bailey is going to give us all the inside track to the Husk Barna battery powered pro series stuff. This stuff is exciting to me. I haven't seen a lot of it yet. Yeah. Tell us about the system and why this is so important to Husk Barna. Yes, everything runs off of a 36 volt nominal system. So we have a universal system across all of our battery products. Oh, uh, the only stipulation is if you're using a chainsaw, you need to at least have a 200X. This is our battery backpack blower. So you're getting about 550 CFM on this. 
uh, about three hours of runtime, not on boost. And uh, it runs off of our BLI 950X backpack battery, which is a 1,120 watt hour battery, the biggest one we currently have. Uh, another cool thing is when you buy this, it actually comes in a kit with the battery, the charger, adapter, and a harness oh, right wow. here. So if you buy this, you can then actually take this battery off this backpack blower, use a harness with the adapter, and you can transfer the power from the backpack into any, any tool. tool. Oh, exactly. That's great. Exactly. And then moving on finally to our W520i. So this is a 20 inch uh, cast metal deck on this guy. So this oh, is a very heavy duty push mower. Yeah. Uh, it can use either two handheld batteries or you can actually use the backpack BLI 950X and no a handheld kidding. battery for maximum runtime. That's so awesome. So that's what these are right here. If I've got two batteries plus the backpack, what is the cutting capacity? Well, it really depends on you know what you're cutting and everything. Uh, you can get up to you know two hours or more on okay. this easily. Yeah. Um, I don't have all the runtime figures in front of me, that's but fine. yeah. Um, so yeah, great commercial unit. This thing is almost hard to keep up with. It has so much speed when you're walking behind it. <laughs> hey, so, you gotta get a job done. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. You wanna go so, home when you're done mowing. Yeah, so extremely heavy duty, but that's kind of the whole product portfolio here. Uh, we're going durability. We have lots of power. The whole battery system itself um, is very advanced. So lots of exciting things coming awesome. at Hustle Arnold. Well, hey, thank you again yeah. for the tour. We greatly yeah, appreciate absolutely. it. Absolutely, thanks so much. All right, guys, we got a bunch more to cover. Let's go. I'm here with James in the Aper booth with a really unique looking underwater robot. James, thanks for joining us. Tell me all about this thing. So what you're looking at right now is you're looking at our Seagull Pro model. This is available in all major retailers right now. And this sucker here actually cleans the walls of your pool, not only the bottom. It has an hour and a half to charge up okay. and operates on three hours. Now how big of a pool can it clean on a single charge? So this can reliably clean up to about 2,500 square feet. No kidding. So what you're seeing right now is the thrusters on top holding it against the wall. It has a quad motor and the wheels are rubberized to help it stick to that acrylic wall right there. So if you have a pool, cement pool, it'll work fine. This works great with above ground pools and in ground pools. No kidding. Oh, that thing looks amazing. That's awesome. So right. you, it uses wavelength technology. So similar to how when you cut your grass where you kind of go in lines, sure. so you don't miss it, this does the exact same thing. I was gonna say, I'm noticing that it's actually like moving over a little then going back up the wall as if it's planning its own route. It's so it's learn, not random. It's learning the pool. No kidding. It's learning the so space. So you don't have to map out your pool. So you've been here for about five minutes. You notice that it started at one end and now yeah. it's, going, it's, it's going right down the line. Yep. All right, so if we want to find out more about this, where do we go? Go to apr.com, or you can actually find us at all major retailers it's online. <laughs>
So yeah, it uh, fully retracted on the boom. You're able to lift about 3,500 pounds. Wow. All the way out extended is about 1,000 pounds. Oh, that's great. So, Excellent. Well, if we want to learn more about this stuff, where can we find it online? Equipter.com. Sounds good. Awesome. Thanks, bud. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great show. Appreciate it. All right, guys, I'm here with Sam from Truckmate. This thing, we walked past and we suddenly saw mulch and stone shooting out the back of a truck. So I had to find out what exactly Truckmate is. Thanks so much, Sam, for being with us. Of course. What can you tell us? So this is Truckmate. It is a bulk material dispenser. So we have a tarp here. You pull this tarp out, lay it in the bed of the truck, Put your material on top, whether it be rock, sand, uh, mulch, anything you need. Um, you press one little button over here, press tarp, pulls the material out. No Just way. Just like that. That's Push amazing. Of a button. So how long have you guys been making this? Uh, about four years, three, four years. No kidding. We started with Mulchmate, which is Truckmate's very large brother. Okay. Um, it's just instead of four yards, it's 10 yards. Fair enough. So it's a lot more material. That's this great. This guy's for the guys who have pickup trucks instead of the big trucks. Yeah. You know, so it works for anybody. So what kind of price am I looking at to get started? Around 10 grand. All right. For Truckmate, um, this insert, we sell for $1,000. And again, it's all electric. That's why when I hit the button and the truck's not running, it's running off the truck's power. No kidding. So your truck's running. That makes sense. It's pulling through that. Pretty cool. So. This thing can't run fast enough to like toss where I need it, can it? No. It's really just designed it's to get it down into, go into a container into to your move wheelbarrow. it to where you need it to gotcha. go. Gotcha. All right. And it also goes both ways. So if you press that side, the it'll send it that direction. That yep. Excellent. Awesome. Well, thanks, Sam. Really appreciate that. If I want to find out more about Truckmate and Mulchmate, where do I go? You can see us on uh, MulchmateUSA.com. Sounds good. Thanks, bud. Yep. You have a great show. You too. We're outside at the DeWalt booth where we found their C48. We saw this last year when it was first revealed, got really excited about it. didn't get a chance for hands-on yet though. Today we're here with my friend Mike, who's gonna talk about it. Mike, thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate it, it's good to meet you. Of course. Tell us all about the Ascent C48. Absolutely, so the 48 at the end actually stands for what deck size is on the mower. So gotcha. here we have the HE248. One of the bread and butters of this machine is the brand new cutting system. So we could have taken a deck that we already produced that utilizes another power source, okay. but we wanted to focus round up across the entire board. So this is a deck that's been designed for electric. Absolutely. Okay. So it's focused on airflow, runtime efficiency, ah. and last but not least, the commercial level cut that we sure. need to deliver. Yeah. So with that, we have the DeWalt deck motors. They're in-house built and designed. Five kilowatt peak, three and a half hour continuous, 3.5 continuous. And what that allows for is when you hit that thick, lusher spring grass, you have that power to kind of stop you from bogging down. You can get through it in one simple pass. Will it actually adjust RPM depending on how difficult it is to cut or do you have to do that manually? Oh, hold it and you can do it manually. Up here okay. on the controls, you have three different cutting modes. You have Eco, Standard, and Turbo. Also with the HE2 deck, every single deck size will come with a standard roller kit in the back. So every line that you leave will be pristine. From there, you can step on the unit from the front. Wow. Or if that's not accessible, you can step off from the front as well. So from the deck or the front. Focus a lot on ergonomics. It's a lot easier to show that when it's in the sit down mode. So the benefit of the C series, which is our crossover functionality, is you can go from a standing operated unit down to a sit down in less than 20 seconds, all without <laughs> tools. That's and amazing. If, you, if you're on uneven terrain and you want the ROP system up, we've removed the pin system and done a nice cam lock design. So you can simply rotate up, self lock into place. Wow. So again, from there, the ergonomics of the unit, control shut. You can see here that I would be pretty well extended out. I can use the seat slide and move it forward and back or pull them in closer to me and adjust them to my height or my preference. Nice. On this side, you have electric deck lift. Raise and lower the deck, and this is your PTO to turn on and engage the blades. Cup holder, phone storage with both USB A and C charging. Thank you, thank you for the C. <laughs> You're welcome, everything's changing. So while everyone's getting used to the C cables, if they still have A, you can utilize them Great. here as well. Yeah. How soon till we're actually going to be able to purchase one of these? We're still about a year out from launch. All so right. tail end at 24, beginning at 25, they'll be readily available. Can't wait, all right, can I go play on one? Absolutely. Let's go. All right, guys, this 
He's a cool one. Another electric zero turn. I can't wait to show you. Luckily, I got my buddy Owen here. He's going to tell us all about it. Owen, hey there. so nice to meet you, man. Yeah. How's tell going, us everybody? all about the Green Machine. Yeah, so this is the Green Machine Z. Uh, this is a prototype for now. We're going to be hopefully offering this in the 2025 season. We've got a 62 volt platform with an LED screen here on the right hand side. If we move around to the back over here, we've got a trunk space. We can carry some tools, some mulch. Does this um, open? Yes, it does open. So it'll drop down I for ask you. ask you how to do it? Yep. Oh, it'll I see. Drop it's, a, down it's a clip. Right here. Awesome. So you've got a nice truck bed there. We can so wait, where are the batteries? Normally the batteries are back here. Yeah, so batteries aren't in this truck space. We've actually moved them underneath the seat here. So oh, we can store look at that. Up to six 12 amp hour batteries. You can put in anything from 2.5 to 12. But if you want maximum runtime up to two acres, you got to put in all 12. Six 12 amp hour batteries. Yeah. I noticed something too about your 12 amp hour batteries. I really appreciate it. They have built in handles. Like, oh, yeah. That is a small thing, but a huge thing. Absolutely love it. It's a I great also, feature. Also notice that we've got uh, this dial over here for height, but it's not just a regular height adjustment, right? Yeah, that's correct. So this dial over here is actually an electronic hike adjustment. It'll run on a rack and pinion system. So once you actually start engaging it, it'll just lift up and down for you. No pulling, no pushing, no levers. That's amazing. Yeah. Do you guys have a target price range yet or? Yeah, 4999. No kidding. Yeah, that's what we're hoping to get. How many batteries come with that at that price? It should be four 12 amp hours four, or 12, sure. six uh, eight amp hours. Sounds Kinda good. Gotta split it up. Awesome. Well, thanks Owen, appreciate it. Yeah. We just walked into the Senex booth. This is a first for us. This brand is brand new to us, but they have got quite the collection of tools here. Andy, thank you so much for yes. joining us. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Andy's gonna walk us through the new X6 line, right? That's right, yep. So this is a line of product that'll give you all the stuff you need to maintain your home, including trimmer, chainsaw, hedge trimmer, pole saw. We have a blower and chainsaw elsewhere that we'll show you as well. So we're excited for that. In addition to our 60 volt, we have lots of other battery lines. So our 20 volt is pretty successful as well. That's the X2. Yep, right? X2, thank you. So this sure. is one of my favorites because we actually double up the batteries and call it 2X2 to give you more power and more capacity. So this is a 14 inch chainsaw with 22 meters per second. You got a blower with 700 CFM. So you're talking really high power nice. off of a 20 volt battery, which is pretty yeah. cool. And these are these are not running in parallel, running in series. So it's running, it's a 40 volt tool. Exactly, yeah. Excellent, that's yeah, 40 volt cool. max tool. Okay, course, that, that is an amazingly tiny chainsaw, which Sarah is a big, big fan of baby chainsaws. What can you tell me about that thing? Yeah, so that is a little baby chainsaw, right? So this is a uh, brushless motor pruner. Holy so you can shit. use it pretty safely with one hand, right? Because you've got a kickback guard here. Nice. So it's uh, got pretty quick chain speed. And then just for easy, if you need to hold the limb and do the trim, it's pretty good setup for that. Very, very cool. Yeah. All right, what else? Uh, I think we should go run a chainsaw that I'm really excited to show you guys. A very powerful two kilowatt high torque motor. Uh, we also have a very fast 26 meters per second chain speed that's best in class. And the chain itself is the Oregon Speed Cut Nano System. So that's a really high performance chain that you don't typically see on a saw in this price point. And one of my favorite features is actually right on top, we have a battery gauge. So when I'm running the saw, you can see it tells me my battery instead of having to flip over and actually press on most batteries. stopped in the Makita booth here at Equip 2023. Super excited. We've got a ton of new Makita tools. Oh, I yeah. was excited with this. This was not what I was expecting. This is not just a water pump, but a very, very fast, high capacity one. Tell us all about it. All right, so this is our PF400 MP on our GUX01 powerhead. This will uh, move 39 gallons 39. per minute. 39. 677 gallons per charge with a four amp hour battery. Let's see it run. Oh It'll drain this bucket in about a minute and a half. That's unbelievable. So this power head's also compatible with our 18 volt and our 36 volt power heads as well. No kidding. Yeah. Man, and that we're was done. fast. All right, how soon can we get one of these? These are in stock and available now. That's fantastic. And price? Uh, 199 bear tool. Awesome. All right, what else have you got? Right over here. Let's go. Makita's also got a brand new pressure washer too. Tell us about this. I'm 
I am really excited. I did not expect to see Makita bring us a pressure washer. I couldn't be happier about it, but it's not often that we see battery powered pressure washers. How are you guys pulling that off? Well, we're actually running it on our 40 volt line. And so you see here, we have two five amp hour batteries and they uh, they run in sequence. So one will go, will go down and then the other one will start so going. So this is a true 40 volt tool. You're not yes. running them all. That's great. Yeah. So what so, kind of power are we talking about? 1600 PSI and 1 1.8 gallons per minute with this unit. And there's three different levels that you could utilize this tool with. It's gonna come standard with two different wands. We have our high pressure and our vari uh, variable speed so that you could actually adjust all, the, oh, all your water nice. flow. And with this nifty little thing, so this is our absorption connector so that you actually don't need a static hose bib. You could actually utilize those rain barrels and uh, use it for more remote uh, pressure washing. Yeah, or even carry a five gallon with you and just yeah. bring the water where you need it. Oh, I love Absolutely. It. All right, guys, we have one more stop at the Makita booth. Nicole here is going to show us their backpack blower. This looks like a beast. Tell us about it. It is a beast. So it's actually two products here. First, we have our CBU04 backpack blower, but also our PDC1500 battery. But I really want to touch on the battery for a minute. So it's actually a 1500 watt hour battery. And what we did here is it's a high capacity battery because we didn't want to sacrifice power or runtime. So using this battery, you're actually able to get 28 newtons of power. And then looking around it, you can see that the battery actually affixes onto here. And then we actually have an upgraded harness as well compared to our previous generation. The harness moves with you and it's going to be really ergonomic and comfortable, especially using the hip straps right here. And you'll see a lot of familiarity with actually like camping style backpacks. Yeah. So there are load lifters right here that help pull it closer to your back cool. and as well as the hip straps. It keeps it on your upper back so you're not going to be slouching. It's a lot more comfortable because that makes sense. there's always like a weight trade off when you're kind of transitioning over to battery products with backpacks right now as sure. well. And then you can see here on the handle, we actually have a nice feature here. It's a cruise control lever. So you'll oh, see when awesome. I press this, it actually depresses the trigger. A lot of guys were telling us in the field oh. when they press the trigger, if they had hand fatigue, their hands would get tired. So being able to set the trigger, not only does it help with hand fatigue, but it also goes ahead and it allows them to essentially manage their runtime a bit better. Very cool. My last feature I love on here is the cup. So you'll see on certain blowers, if there's not a seal right here, you can get a little bit of back pressure. So this cup allows the nozzle here to telescope, but also keeps a perfect seal so you're not losing any pressure. Excellent, awesome. Well, thanks, Nicole, really appreciate it. Absolutely, All right, thank have a good you. Show. All right, guys, let's see what's in the Ryobi booth this time. We're still at Equip 2023. Luckily, I got my friend Brittany here. He's gonna show us all the cool new stuff. Brittany, it's so good to see you. Thank you so much yeah, for inviting us to your booth. What has Ryobi got new for us today? Oh, very excited. So today we have our 18 volt HP brushless compact uh, blower. So really excited about this. We yeah. just announced it. Um, yeah, here you go. Yeah, we played around with that a little earlier. That thing is an absolute blast. But I think I was surprised about it. Mm -hmm. It's going to be great so being so compact in your shop and stuff, but it's got attachments for it as well. Oh, absolutely. So we have our speed tip. So you can put it on any of our extensions here just to get a little bit more speed. Um, and then we have the extension. So a lot of people really, really like these extensions because it can actually get almost close to the ground. So I can show you real quick if you want to yeah, hold sure. on to that. So you're right at like ground height. That's awesome. Very, very easy That's use. That's gonna be very handy in the shop. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, oh, for sure. absolutely. Very cool. All right, what else do you guys have today? Really excited about this one, actually. We have our... <laughs> Yes, Sarah's favorite things are baby chainsaws. Awesome. So that one is perfect. So tell us about it. This is the first one we've seen. Yes, so this is our new uh, Ryobi One Plus HP Brushless Compact oh, HP eight too. inch pruning saw. So HP is our high performance brushless oh, yeah. motor. Yeah, we're yeah. very familiar. With, with our high performance batteries, you're gonna get incredible cutting experience. So so yeah, we've gotten so great feedback so far from this. I mean, it's an eight inch bar. Yep. So you can, cut, you can cut quite a bit with this. So this is great for limbing. Um, and it's so compact, so especially getting into trees, yeah, I bet. it makes it so easy to use. What's the biggest Ryobi chainsaw you've ever seen before? Because for me, it's this 20 inches is ridiculous. Luckily, we got Jesse to show it to us. Jess, tell us all about this new chainsaw. So this brand new 40 volt HP chainsaw. This is 50 cc equivalents, up to 100 cuts Jeez. per charge. So this is truly a gas replacement, something yeah. you've never seen 
from a Ryobi standpoint. That is awesome, so excited about that. Uh, we, we've used several Ryobi chainsaws before and they've done a really great job, but I don't think I've ever used anything with a bar that long on there. So I'm excited to see this work. Can we get a demo? Yeah, talk is cheap. Let's right? see it go to work. <laughs> Please. Pass it off to Alex. Hey Alex, hey, thanks hey, for guys. demoing for us. Let's see it go through All this right, log. Let's see this thing in action. One more thing I had to see in the Ryobi booth, so I grabbed Jess one more time. Jess, I haven't had a chance to see your new powered cooler. This thing's absolutely amazing. Tell us all about it. Yeah, so this is powered by 18 volt, one plus batteries. You get up to six to eight hours of runtime off of batteries. Nice. Here. It's 40 can capacity, and it takes all the hassle out. So oh. no ice, no melting. So if you think about a road trip, you think about camping, uh, fully yeah. powered, cool, stay refreshed. Um, it's not a trick, it's really, really cold. That's great. Uh, also can power it with a uh, AC plug or into oh, DC power. Oh, that's great. Yep. I didn't realize you could plug it in as well. Making it a hybrid was smart, that's awesome. So great for long trips, camping, tailgating. Uh, definitely gonna be the head of the party. Yeah. I was gonna try to steal this one, but you guys didn't like me taking the log splitter, so I'll leave it here. Well, I'll give you a drink. Yeah, thanks, all right, thanks Jess. Really appreciate, appreciate it, it Rob. thanks bud. We got my buddy Bradley here that we actually met back at Pipeline. Bradley's going to yeah. talk to us a little bit about battery management with Milwaukee. Bradley, good to see yeah. you again. Nice Thank to you see so you much. Too. So tell us all about this. Partially, this guy down here, the roll-on. Yeah. I didn't get a lot of introduction to the roll-on, but I'll let you go from here. So we've seen some great adoption with the six-bay packout charger. Users who are now charging overnight in their shop and then they'll bring this to their truck, their trailer during the day, do their work, and then bring it back to the shop at night, plug them all in. That's really gonna be great for circuit maximization, charging as much batteries at once. And then, as you alluded to, for the heavy duty yeah. users, the I'm roll on super power excited supply. about this thing. Yeah, us too. So, this is a two and a half kilowatt hour internal core battery in here and a 3600 watt inverter. And so, what this really is, is a battery generator, right? Should do an amazing job at replacing any 3600 watt battery generator on the job site. And it will also unlock that mobile power station for landscape professionals. So, go to one property in the morning, discharge a couple of your M18s, bring them back to the trailer, plug them in, and they'll start charging as you go to your next property. And so, across the board for us, this is really just the beginning of the portable power solutions we're developing and a lot of the different solutions that we know landscapers need. That's awesome. Bradley, thank you again yeah. for the tour. We appreciate, appreciate it. it. You guys yeah. have a great show. You too. Thanks. All right, I had to stop in this booth purely because Get a load of that vehicle. I need to learn more about it. Luckily, Eric's here to tell us about it. Eric, thanks so much for joining us. I appreciate it. Tell us about the Tuatara. Uh, or is they, it Tuatara? Tuatara. 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 Um, it's a New Zealand-based company. Uh, they've been in New Zealand for like 15 years. They've no been kidding. in the California market for like eight. I've been handling them for about two years here in this uh, Midwest. Uh, there's really nothing like it. It's extremely heavy duty. Uh, it's got an automotive engine, automotive powertrain, we have a gasoline and electric. Uh, the, there's, it's the most advanced electric powertrain system in the industry if you do want to go electric. No kidding. So zero emissions. Um, or if you want to use the gasoline, like which most farmers do. Sure. Uh, there's really nothing like this. Uh, it comes a lot with a lot of standard features such as uh, turn signals, brake lights, uh, tilt steering wheel. We do have a manual transmission on this, so we are not running like the typical CV belt system. Okay. It's extremely, again, it's extremely heavy duty. Wow. But on the electric version, is that all? Is that a single speed or is that actually a manual as well? Is you have a, a fast mode and a slow mode. Okay, so, but it's, just, it's uh, a single transmission yes, electric. Correct. Yep, awesome. yep, yep. Great. I noticed like you have a really strong deck out front here for storage. I mean, can we climb on this thing? Can you get up on the roof? Oh yes, you can. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's it's it is very very strong. You can do that. So, and it comes with the dump bed which people love. Yeah. Uh, double spring on the back for max payload. It does have the most payload of any UTV in the industry. So, does, does it have a tow rating? Uh, you can tow 2400 pounds no and then so. Awesome. Well, it looks great. So, if we're interested in getting one for ourselves, where would we go? 
You can go to tuaterravehicles.com or benningdistributing.com. Awesome. Sounds good. Thanks for your time, man. Appreciate it. Have a great it. show. Thank you. Yes. All right, guys, so we just walked into the steel booth. I just met Paul who, here, who's going to show me all the cool new stuff going on at Steel. Paul, thanks for joining us. Really appreciate it. What are you most excited about today? All right, we've got a ton of innovation here. We're going to focus on three things, though. Okay. The first being the BGA 300 right here. This is our backpack blower. It is the most powerful blower we have on our battery system. We have a new adapter for it to make it lighter for our end users that takes our cartridge style batteries. It blows at 26 Newtons, and this unit allows you to have three different power levels okay. so that we can use battery efficiently. Only use the power you need for the immediate job. That makes exactly. sense, sure. All right, we could talk a lot more about it, but let's move on to the next tool, if you'll follow me. Let's go. This looks huge. How, how large is the cut pad? Great question. This is our most powerful battery trimmer. This is the FSA 200. It comes in bike and loop handle. It has an 18-inch cutting 18 swath. 18 inches, jeez. Look forward to using this in thick brush and getting work done. I bet. It also comes with the same gear head and drive shaft that we use on our gas side. So this is that legendary wow. durability we talk about using the same AP system that SEAL has added out for over a decade. That's going to be it from the Equip Show 2023. I want to thank our show sponsors, the Ego, Spider, Block Ladder, and Ohio Power Tool for supporting our show and our crazy community of tool fans. All right, guys, if you can, do something kind for someone else this weekend, and we'll see you next week.